Now question 14 looks like question 13, but it's not the same thing. So watch out here, and again, we've got to watch out for the order of operations. Now, first thing, parentheses, do all those, then do all the exponents, then multiply or divide from left to right, and then add or subtract from left to right. Okay? Now, look at this thing here. Just watch out for this. See that? That is an absolute value sign on a negative 4. And that's kind of like a parenthesis. What does that give you? What's absolute value of negative 4, by the way? It's positive 4. Absolute value always gives you the positive. So let's do that, then write out the whole thing again. So it's not Shakespeare. It doesn't take that long to write this out. Okay? So don't be afraid to write things out. And when you're doing these types of problems, um, it's nice to just do one or you know one or two things, one one operation, and then move down. And that's how you'll avoid making a mistake. So now we have 120 minus 6 squared divided by 4 times 8. Now what's the next operation we do? Are there any parentheses? All the parentheses are done, right? Now we move on to exponents. Now do we have an exponent? We do. And again, the exponent is just on the 6, okay? And again, just a reminder, there are two types of exponent on a negative number. You could have a negative 6 inside a parenthesis squared or just, or just that. Now these are two different things. In this case, the exponent includes the negative sign. So that's why it's actually negative 6 times negative 6 or negative 30, or sorry, or, or which, which is of course positive, positive 36, right? Now in this case, the exponent just touches the 6, so this actually just means subtract 6 squared, subtract 36, okay? Because the exponent does not include the negative. So sometimes if there's a parenthesis, you're going to include the negative as part of the calculation. If there's no parenthesis, then you just it's just the exponent on the number and that's it. So anyway, this becomes 6 squared is just 36, okay? And then we write out the whole thing again. 120 minus 36 divided by 4 times 8. Now what do we do next? Do you subtract next? Consult with your order of operations. Subtraction comes at the end. We don't do that next, right? So we have a subtraction, a division, and a multiplication. What should we do next? Well, we've gone through, we did all parentheses, then we did all the exponents. Now we're doing multiplying or dividing from left to right. Multiply or divide from left to right. Multiplication and division have the same amount of importance. So, we don't do subtraction. We've got to do this guy. The negative 36 divided by 4, or you could think of it just as 36 divided by 4. What does that give, by the way? If you do it this way, what's 36 divided by 4? Write it down. 9. But you still have the 120. Subtract that. Okay? Or you could have thought of it this way. What's negative 36 divided by 4? Well, it's negative 9. And then you just write down the 120. Either way, you get the same thing. And then you got to go times 8. Right? So we have a subtraction and we have a multiplication. So what comes next? Well, we got to do all our multiplication and division from left to right. Then we do our addition and subtraction, right? So we go from left to right. We've got 9 times 8. 9 times 8 is 72, right? So it's 120 minus that. What does that give you? Ten minus two is eight, and eleven minus seven is four. Right? So forty-eight. 